Thank y'all for uh, tuning into my channel. Today, what I'm uh, gonna go over is smelly water on the hot water side. So this is my house and my, my current system. And what I've noticed is using less water, the, the water on the hot side really has a bad sulfur smell. So when you have a sulfur smell, that's just due to the minerals in the water reacting to the anode rod that is inside of your hot water heater. Now what an anode rod does, it allows the water to be aggressive towards the rod instead of the metal uh, that is made up of the tank that holds the water. Some <clears throat> water heaters, you'll see a little white cap. The anode rod might be under the cap. And this water heater, they actually already have it exposed and there's this piece here that's kind of in the way so we're gonna have to take a screwdriver and take out uh, this little plastic cover to where our socket will go down here and we'll take it off in order to take it off what you're gonna need you're gonna need a one and a sixteenth inch socket a good extension and a breaker bar now believe it or not that thing is in there at probably hundred and fifty to two hundred foot pounds of torque so you might need a three foot breaker bar and then an additional pipe to go over the breaker bar to get more leverage. Um, oh, it's easier to do it when the tank is full because it probably weighs 400 pounds. If the tank was empty and you tried to take it out, then you would just have to have someone to actually kind of bear hug the tank itself and have another person undo it. I'm gonna also try and see if the impact gun will take it out first. But the first thing we're gonna have to do we're going to have to turn off the water supply in and out. That way it isolates the tank. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to go ahead and, and drain the pressure off the tank. But before we do that, since my system is gas, if your system probably is electric, what you're going to want to do is go turn the breaker off. So go over to your breaker panel, open it up, and find the hot water heater and turn it off. Because you don't want to drain the water level down say you know a foot or so and then your heating element be exposed to the air and then it burns your heating element out so always make sure to turn the power off turn the water pressure off drain some of the water out of the tank before you ever start the process up top now what you're going to notice on some of the water heaters uh, underneath the cap here let's say hypothetically so you're going to pop your cap off and sometimes you got to actually cut it out with a knife but a lot of the times, and this one is the same, there's foam that's around it. You see that foam right there? You're actually going to have to go in here with a screwdriver and you're going to have to dig all that foam away from the anode rod to where you can get the socket down in there. Okay, so I took a screwdriver and I went around and I cut the head of it off. And then now we're going to take pliers and pull it out. Okay. Now we'll see if the socket fits over that. Okay, we got our inch and a sixteenth socket and our extension. Cool. It fits right over it perfectly. Nice and tight. Now we're going to go ahead and try and take this off and put the impact on there and see what happens. Okay, so I have the heater off. So we're right now what I've done, I've went down here and I opened this up to where it's draining outside. And then I took the over the... Uh, the high pressure release here and I opened it up what that does that allows air to go into the tank to where water will drain out so it's been draining a little bit now we're gonna go ahead and turn this off and we can turn this off down here and we should be good to go okay so I've got my impact with my socket on the end of it and take it up here got it in there we're gonna try to unspin it all right that worked a whole lot easier than I thought Okay, now the anode rod is up. Now we just gotta reach down in there and grab it. Now be careful because that's gonna be 130 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna take channel locks. I'm gonna pick it up. Now, if the water is aggressive, the anode rod will look terrible. If it's good water, it'll actually come out looking smooth. Oh man, look at that. It's actually broken and holding on by a thread. Whew, that's disastrous. Okay, so I've never seen one do this before where it was so uh, disintegrated that it wouldn't come out. But if we look down in there, see if I get a good shot of it. You can see that piece is kind of bent over. 
and it's preventing it from coming out. I'm going to have to somehow reach down in there and bend it up. Okay, so basically that's what I'm looking at right there. It's supposed to be three, four foot long rod. And I've got a hold to it here, so I'm just trying to wiggle it out. Break off whatever piece needs to come. Okay, so it's starting to come. Man, look at that rod. Okie doke. That's the anode rod, and it's supposed to be a, a, a round, smooth piece. But you see all the barnacles and crap that are on it, and how it's actually disintegrated this part. All that is gone. So whatever is here is laying in the bottom of the tank. So it'll take a while for that to dissipate. But now that we've got it out, we shouldn't have too bad of smelly water situation. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make sure this is open. And I'm going to turn the main feed back on for a second, nice and slow, and just try to drain the tank out some water on see what I was trying to do there I was trying to lift any of the trash that was in that hole out so all you have to do is just crack that valve and then it'll flow any of the trash that's in the threads or whatever it'll flow it out so now come over here and we'll crack this so we got some water coming out there the rest of it's going out of the hose While the uh, water heater is draining, what we're going to do, we're going to take this piece here. We're going to go put this in a vise. We're going to take a sawzall, and we're going to cut it just below the threads. And then we're going to wrap this back with thread tape and put it back in. Okay, we're here at the vise. We've got the plug in the vise. We've got our sawzall. Nice and cut clean. Now sometimes this little bit of the anode still touching the water will cause some issues. You can actually take a drill and go in there and drill some of that out. But I don't really find a need for it. Okay, we're back here at the water heater. We have the plug that goes in it. We have our three or four wraps of thread tape on it. I'm going to go ahead and put it down in there. I'm going to start it by hand. And then tighten it with the socket. Okay. Now we're just gonna tighten it with the uh, with a wrench. Okay. So here we are. We've got the plug all tightened back in. We've got our water on. We still have this open down here. So what we're doing, we're feeding in fresh water. Fresh water is going to come in at the top and it's going to slowly push out all that smelly water out of the hose. So we're going to let that sit there and do that for about five minutes. If you think about water coming into a house, most plumbing is 10 gallons a minute as far as three quarters concerned as long as it's the main feed. So, five, you know, 10 gallons a minute, 50 gallon tank, it should take five minutes to drain and it was kind of already partially drained. So we're going to go ahead and let that take care of that, and then we'll shut that off, we'll shut that off, and then uh, we'll turn this valve back on, and turn our, uh, turn our electricity back on. Uh, for your situation, it'll be electricity. For me, it'll be my gas knob down there, got to light the pilot again. But other than that, that should fix your rotten egg smell in your water. And um, if, uh, if you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up. If you like my videos, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, subscribing to my channel supports, supports me and, uh, and all my videos. And um, if you want to say thank you, say thank you by subscribing. Well, hope you all enjoyed this video, found something informative. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good one.